a big Tuesday night experiment. Welcome to the legendary Dutch Mantel. Well, hello. How you doing? Uh, glad to be on your show. Oh, glad to have you, and thank you so much for agreeing to come on the show. Uh, this book, I, I've been reading, I've been hearing... Uh, I've been hearing things about it for the last couple of months, but now we're finally getting around to the month of December, just in time for the holidays. Dutch, tell us about Tales from a Dirt Road. Well, uh, I put out the, my first book I, about, actually about the same time just the last year, and I was actually in Puerto Rico, and I wrote the book, and I had some friends, and they knew how to publish a book. They said, hey, won't you write a book? I said, I don't want to write a book. Ah, so many people have written books. They said, no, write the book. We've been reading your blog. So I said, okay. So I started writing this book. I put it together in about five weeks. It was called The World According to Dutch. Now, a lot of wrestling books are autobiographies or, oh, I did this or I did this and blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, a lot of people have done a lot of things, but you can't have the whole book like that. No. And this book is really just a collection and a, a compilation of things in and around the wrestling business that I've seen. Now, the first book had stories on The Undertaker and had, you know, stories on Stone Cold, and this one does too, uh, but it, where the first book was more or less a, a funny book, a humorous look at it, this is still funny, really funny in places, but I actually get into some meat of some subjects. There are some, there are some uh, serious stories in there. So if you are, and, and this book is geared toward the wrestling addicts, it's almost, it's, it's all things wrestling is what it is. Uh, if, if you want to sit down and read this book, you can probably finish it. Can you say your brother read it in a day? Yeah. He, other book? He read it on a on a Saturday. He started reading it. He just couldn't put it down. He, you know, for the you know, give or take a couple bathroom breaks. But I mean, for yeah. the most part, he nailed it. He said it was such a great book, and he was asking, "Well, have you heard anything about Dutch? You know, working on a second book?" And I suppose that's been kind of from what I've been reading. It seems like this book was very well received. The book was. It surprised me to tell you the truth. You know, when when you do something new, like the first time I got into a wrestling ring, I was nervous because I didn't know how the people were going to respond to me. I don't know if they're going to like me or just or receive me. I, I, I don't know that until I go and do it. Same way with the book. I wrote the book, and actually people read it and enjoyed it and told me they enjoyed it. And it's kind of it's it's, it's a humbling experience to think that you can actually put words on paper and people not only will enjoy a uh, buy, they'll enjoy it. Uh, on Amazon, you can look up the book now on Amazon, The World According to Dutch, and you can read the reviews. And I hadn't read them in about a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But at last count, it had 15 reviews, and uh, 14 of them were for five star. That's excellent. So when I looked on Amazon one day, and, you know, Amazon to me is a place where you see John Gresham, and you see Stephen King, mm -hmm. and J.K. Rowling, or whatever the lady's name that did Harry Potter. That's where they put their books. And to have my name up there with them was a humbling experience for me. Mm -hmm. But this book here, I think everybody would enjoy it. It's going to be out in the month of December. You can actually pre-order an autographed copy, which means you're going to get it first uh, at my at my website, which is www.dutchmantel.com. You can find me there. <clears throat> Don't go to DirtyDustMantel.com because that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a porno site. Oh, <laughs> I wrote that down by mistake one day, so I said, is that the right, uh, <laughs> that the right there. URL there. you there. sent me? I said, I think so. <laughs> but it's just DustMantel.com, and hit a thank you there. It gives you a hit list of all the of all the things I write about. I write about a bar one night, me and Undertaker in there after a long tour with WCW. Mm -hmm. also write about... And after hours bar with me and Sid Vicious and the Iron Sheik. Sheiky baby. At about Sheiky baby, and it's hilarious, <laughs> and it's a true story. And I write about my time in TNA. I write about uh, Vince Russo because, you know, I even say in there that everything that has been written has already been written about Vince and said about him. Mm -hmm. But it's a look from the inside of TNA. And... Uh, to me, I think if you just think that you got in the car with me and we started driving to a town 100 miles away, 150 miles away, mm -hmm. and I start talking, and I just start telling stories. It's in no chronological order. It's not like I started here, I did this, and I went all the way through it. No, it's just a bunch of stories. Yeah. Nothing, I'm I write about, I, I write about <clears throat> getting barred from towns, getting run off from towns, 
And I'll tell you the truth, if you go to my website, you'll get all those chapters there. I also talk about Wrestler's Court, where it came from, who invented it. Talk about a, a fight in Florida that I don't think a lot of people know about. But this is a first-hand account. Ernie Ladd versus the uh, Jack and Jerry Briscoe. Mm-hmm. Did you ever hear about the fight? I, I, I think I remember reading it in one of the one of the books about that, hearing about the incident. You know, bits and pieces, not the full story or anything. But this is this is the full story, and I, and I'm fair to both sides, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry it happened, but it did. Once it's once it's out there, it's out there. Yeah. So, but it's an enjoyable book, and anybody who wants to, if you want to get an autographed copy, you can go to my website, and here's my email address: Dirty Dutch Mantel. I don't want to get anybody confused here. Dirty Dutchman tail with two L's yep. at gmail.com. Oh, excellent! And uh, I'm definitely gonna get pick, you know, get 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 on this and get the, a copy of, an autograph copy of the book. And I like the best, you know, I like the old school wrestling stuff from the '80s. I love hearing when you tell stories about the time when you the times you have worked in Memphis. All I, well, I love those of, stories. There's a lot of Memphis stories in there. One story that's in there is a famous match that I didn't even think they still had on tape. <clears throat> it's a Texas Death Match. Me and Lawler. Versus Bill, Superstar Dundee, and Nature Boy Buddy Landale. Good stuff. We end up going 26 falls in this match. Huh. And it goes an hour, hour 15, I think, hour. It, it goes for quite a while. And this is the whole story behind that, what brought it on, how it happened, some history of Memphis, <clears throat> what the Memphis TV used to draw. That Memphis TV used to be a monster. Mm-hmm. I just I was actually looking at it today, and I tweaked it a little bit. If you actually took the ratings in Memphis and applied them to the WWF Raw, WWF Raw, <clears throat> if it was like Memphis TV, they, they do 20 million people. Oh. It used to do a 20 rating Sheesh. or a 25 rating, and sometimes with a 70 share of the audience. That's amazing. But there was a reason and a method why that worked, and in the in the book and. In the story, it tells you all the things that had to come together to get all that to work. See, the wrestling business is a great is a great business, has been for years. And wrestling done right, even today, is beautiful. It's an art form, and it's a beautiful thing to watch. Wrestling done bad, I don't think is anything worse. To say the truth, and I've seen some bad wrestling, mm-hmm. oh, I <laughs> and I've seen some great wrestling too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a wrestling shoe now. It's called the University of Dutch. I'm here in Tennessee tonight, and I'm actually at the school. <laughs> but what I ingrain in my students is respect for, for what it is and respect the ring and respect your opponent. That's what I think a lot of things now are missing mm-hmm. uh, in, the, in the wrestling business. <clears throat> Another thing that's missing is uh, when I first started wrestling, uh, or what first attracted me to wrestling, well, seeing guys like Abdullah the Butcher, oh, oh, that's a classic. Or Bruiser Brody, yeah. or Stan Hansen, good stuff. Or Rick Flair, or our, our young Rick Flair, mm-hmm. Roddy Piper, even Jerry the King. What happened to those guys? They're not there anymore. No. The Kamalas, guys, you know, they're called gimmicks, but that's what I liked. Because now, when Next comes out, and I got a lot of respect for W anything that Vince McMahon, I think he's a genius. Mm-hmm. But when those guys come out there, the first one looks exactly like the middle one, who looks exactly like the end one. It's just a gang in t-shirts. That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Now I know they're trying to appeal to kids and do this, but you know, that's why YouTube now, uh, to me, is so popular. People come to me and say, what is your name for Dutch? Wait a minute. Then they'll, and I'll see them again. They say, man, I, I, I pulled you up on YouTube. I didn't know that. I didn't know this, that, and the other. The people uh, who grew up on WWF or WWE now, they don't even know there were other companies out there 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. It's almost forgotten. So what this book is, is, is a compilation of stories and things in book form. Uh, it documented so these stories don't die. Unless they're documented and passed on, they go away. Yeah, and the history goes away. And for people who love wrestling, they love history. And I've had people email me and they said, man, I love the history. I could sit and talk all night about the old days, mm-hmm. this, that, and the other. Well, yeah, well, I can too, but not too much. But 